Um, so we actually forgot to wrap up the last episode, but whatever. Hey, I'm Alfred. That's Sarah. We're playing Dishonored. I have to not kill Who these and you. Who are you? All right. You did good. Perfect. That was a lot cleaner. Now, I think I've killed everyone. Oh boy. Oh boy. Who do you have in your... I have the Overseer. Is that the one you are not supposed to kill? Yeah, that's the, that, the Overseer is the one I'm trying to uh, brand. Mm. But was he the one trying to get poisoned, or...? He was the one trying to poison Jeff. Ah, uh, okay. So what if, uh, what's his name gets poisoned? He dies. Mm. Oh, fuck, I was supposed to save Jeff for now as well. Just, just put him in. Hurry up. Go get him. All right. Oh, can't go get him now? Oh wow, there's a hole. Okay, cool. Okay. I've never actually done this permutation of it. I've done the thing where you let him get poisoned, but I've never done this part of it. What we have is a man, aged 30 perhaps, slender. Unusual tattooing on the face and chest. Probably superstitious heresy. Wearing some sort of industrial mask when we brought him in. Stolen out of one of the whaling factories from the look of it. You're one of Dowd's men, aren't you? Caught at last. Give us a name at least. What's wrong with his eyes? Opium? Laudanum? Are you with us? What's he doing? Some kind of fit. He's gone. Here it is. A pin. One of his gloves. Subject has administered some kind of poison. The effects seem to have been lethal. Hedrick Brand reserved for. Oh, we went, actually. I think we did. Great trials. That one you're free to read on your own. So, dudes are on the hunt for me. So, I gotta hustle. Wake up, Campbell. Non-lethal. That was much more gruesome than I thought. Yep. Is he dead? Nope. He's alive. Ah. He is gonna be alive whether he wants to or not. See, now I wanna I wanna go see if I can possibly save Jeff. But I've also gotten lost. No, I'll find you. I know you're here. Oh, well, here he is. Perfect. All right, safe location. Here we go. Now, can I teleport while holding this man? I suppose it would be good to see if that's possible, in fact, before I do it. Good save. Yeah. Yes, I can. Asafe Locacione. Oh boy. Oh boy. Perfect. Don't turn around. Actually, I guess it doesn't matter. Wait, this is the safe location? Alright. That's pretty much everything though, right? 
Am I missing any? Yes, uh -huh. I am. Well, fuck. Who saw me? Eh, forget about it. Let's go see if we can finagle this. I don't think I've ever seen uh, save Jeff as well. So that's. Fish of those fucking piranha things. Can't stay hidden for us. Alright. I hear you, bastard. I think I know how I can swing this. Someone help me out! You're gonna like this. Not already. Oh wait, I gotta rebuy it. A rat now. Wait, so it's not just for humans. Oh, it's for anyone you want. You could be a fish. Wow. It only lasts for so long. Um, but I'm hoping that I can find the little thing that I can slip through before it expires. However, being a rat. Oh well. Damn. Wait, can you be a rat and then go look at yourself? No, my body enters theirs. I become a spectral form and possess them. It's a nice way of thinking out, out of showing the, the body. Yeah. It's a whole thing, you know. to where your rat goes? Uh, yeah, I leave their oh, body. Oh, okay. I'll flush you out. So if I wanted to, I should back and Help! And kill him. <laughs> However, I seem to have gotten lost. I mean, I could also just go back and get it while I'm not recording, which I might do, because this is getting a bit ridiculous. In fact, I'll even load this autosave. Ah, wasn't an autosave. Well... What, the video? Yeah. Why? Huh? Guards, to me! Whiskey uh, hi, everyone. You can kill him. You can just go from the last one. Oh, the rats! No! <gasps> no! What the fuck? This is a cursed timeline. Oh, I'll find you. Okay, go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get the fuck out. Sorry everyone for wasting your time. To the backyard. So the backyard is also a level in and of itself, and you have your own choices. Please. What did you say I would wanna cut it? Is our friend here? No, I uh I I just thought it'd be a, a better place to cut it since you had already uh gotten Sister, into the safe she's location. Not a witch. I know yeah. her. Out of the way! You expect preferential treatment just because you are her brother? She will burn. All witches must burn. All right, saved another life. I figure that makes it easy, right? That makes it nice and even. Quartz. Bone charm. Bone charms. Many. Hello, my friends. Rat. 
time. How do you do, fellow rats? Okay. <gasps> at night, we stop at night. Where the rats? I'm the giant rat. That makes all of the rules. Let's see what kind of trouble we get. Hey, and we're back. Hi. Hello. Um, Sarah started sundowning in the middle of last recording, so we took a little break. I did. I was very tired and exhausted, but... So we're going to load a save. I don't know where it's going to put us. <laughs> Please, oh, we're here. My sister. Huh? She's not a... Guard, come in. Come in. Alright, cool. So, do you remember what we were doing, Sarah? Uh, I think we just got done branding a person. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh no! That's showing off the recording? I hope not. Okay. Um, yes, we branded the High Overseer, so now he's uh, a heretic in his own church. You think they would be like, you know... Oh, you chose to do it in the face? Maybe, like, some other people did this to you. No, that's where you do it. Oh. Well, can he not, like, lie and be like, Oh, this is a ho horrible thing that happened to me. Or is that, like, a, you know... If that brand's on your face, your opinion does not count. Ah. Yeah, that's the, that's the problem with having, um... Literally anything that's all in that life. Cultish. Yeah, I mean, they kind of are. What? This doesn't look culty to you? <laughs> Perfectly normal civilians. Regular, just a normal guy. Can I have a reward for saving your daughter? You appeared as if from nowhere. We would both be dead if not for you. We are forever in your debt. I cannot thank you enough. Um, the game volume is... I must is... get my sister to safety. But first, I may know of a way to thank you. Oh, cool. There's a safe in the bunkhouse. The combination is two, zero, three. Fuck yeah. Take what you want, and good is luck. Is that another reference? Uh, no, I don't believe that one is. What, what was the number? Five, one, three? Four, five, one. Oh, okay. It's a reference to four, uh, Fahrenheit 451. Ah, uh, okay. Should remember that. Okay, what's our mission now? Now I am trying to escape. But also I wanna grab some goodies. Some sweet, sweet runes. Yes, runes and oh. So where exactly are you uh Look, slotting <laughs> slotting these runes? They're on my chest. Oh. Um so you can see it in the art. But uh, Corvo has a bunch of like runes in a essentially a bandolier on his chest. Hmm. Like are there like little slots in his flesh, or are these just like on, on his shirt? Oh, okay. <laughs> He's like a um. Oh, what do you even call him? It's that uh, Jewish uh, golem. Is that what they are? What are, what are they called? What are you referring to? Uh, Emeth. Meth, do you, do you remember what are those called? Yeah, yeah, that's a golem. Yeah, golem, where like they you can like slot things. Is that just a morning ground? It's just a morning ground. Oh. Yeah, with um. Oh, oh god. Rats, please. Rats, rats. Give me the we have rats. Because of the fucking rats, the, the thing where I have to eat rats. They fucking uh, stop me from picking up the room because there's just so many white rats. God, imagine being unable to stop eating rats. Stop. The ratty flesh is too good. It's like rats back on the menu, boys. <laughs> Everyone, please. Boys, calm down. If they're getting ravenous, you need to feed them. I wish I could control more rats. See, this is actually, um, this part is something I'm not so sure about. 
This is kind of a denouement, just like an epilogue to the mission. But like, it can go on for a pretty long time. Cause like, the intro of the mission can go on for a bit. While you're running around doing Granny Rags quests and shit like that. Mm -hmm. And this one can also go on really long after the mission's done. And like, if, if you ended it in high chaos and like, 50 dudes are chasing you out of the fucking room, then like, you kind of just have to run through it. Wow. Pause that if you want to read it. I always wanted just a, a giant oil painting of myself in my study. Now, I know that it could just be graphical limitations. But the implication that he has 50 of the same painting are kind of funny. If you think about it, it does make sense. Well, like, he doesn't even have to hold still for another uh, painting. He can just have the guy replicate the, uh, the already done one. <laughs> I wonder if that was a, a common practice. Because obviously there were people who faked paintings. Where's that townhouse he talked about? Um... Bunk house. What the hell? I wonder if, uh, you know, painters back then were under some obligation to, um, kind of like put a soft filter over people's faces if they had, like, terrible acne or, or just weird what would be considered flaws back then. Oh, fuck, there's a dog. <laughs> So, as I, I, I might have mentioned this a little bit last time. I'm trying to think what they were like, and they, they're very rat like, honestly. Yeah, they uh, apparently are supposed to have up to a three. Didn't even need to say that guy, but I'm glad I did. So, so what's wrong with them, do you know? The dogs? Yeah. Like, in this Yes. Can you, like, slot a rune in to get more health? Uh, I might take a moment, you know, when we're not, uh, recording to look at all the room. I am very curious. Whiskey for a week if you they're kind of hyena, hyena y as well. They're also apparently based off of crocodiles, of all things. That's why their heads are so long, or their snouts, rather. They also kind of remind me of, uh, have you ever seen a, a whale skull? Um, Where they just look like sub, you know, like it did not, uh, what am I trying to say? They're a reptilian almost? Yeah, as they As opposed to mammalian? Yeah, like, people have found whale carcasses washed up, and they thought they found some type of, like, eldritch abomination, because yeah, like, they just, they look so... That's what the behemoth is. Ugh. Just bullets? Damn you. Haha! -ha, I'm smarter than... We cannot doubt the effective. Were you gonna finish that? No. By possession! So this, this, so a rune and a bone charm are different. A rune is essentially just a perk. A bone charm is the little thing you slot in. Okay. So I'm going to, I got possession again because I keep having to buy it. My next thing is probably going to be agility. It's of Holger's device. Or the mathematical beauty of the music so itself. The device they're talking about here. We've seen it in thing. action against the forbidden practices too many times to get lost your magic. But the question I no one wishes to ask is it? Because that, that looks like. Um, itself, black magic. And I should have put my glasses on. It looks like the inside of a music box. It is a music box, yeah. Ah, okay. See? Over here, music box. Oh. So, this magic. I left you a copy of the ancient music so you might familiarize yourself with the principles I'm employing the latest variation of Holger's device or the music box, as the men call it. As you know, it produces harmonies that render heretical energies or magic inert through counterbalancing mathematical principles. Read the book and make yourself useful by finding some subject to test us on. 
City is choked with corruption and superstition. You won't have to look far. So yeah, this thing is mounted on someone's chest, and the noises it makes create anti-magic. Hmm. Does that mean you can find the frequency for, for creating magic? Um, it's possible, but the scientists don't have an interest in that. Where do I put this? Here? What, what does it say? Strange door vice. Strange? Val, rather. Strange Val. Door, Val. Um. Huh. Well, you can grab a key. Go ahead and pause this if you want to read it. Uh, supply... Get this valve into the supply depot. Oh. Jump chest. So long, how long has it been since you played this um, last? <laughs> Nice. Um, 2014? Oh, okay. So it's been a while. Yes, it has. So I'm very, very rusty. Uh, yada, 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 crossbows. So Dowd's men, Dowd, if you recall, is the guy who assassinated the queen. He has a gang called the Whalers. As in people who hunt whales, not like Bob Marley. Here's the bunkhouse. Last night. Wyndham, last night was wonderful. Hold on it. Last I, night was wonderful. I I'm right <laughs> at this moment imagining your arms around me and your breath on my neck. I feared for our lives when your fellow overseers found us, but you proved resourceful as always. And no, I won't take your slurs and threats personally, for I know you were merely trying to throw off my, my throw off any suspicions they might have, a, have had of us. I hope to see you again soon. Perhaps it's two nights when you uh, have, have leave. leave once more. Darian. Ooh. These dudes are gay. I uh, like that. Edmund, it has come to my attention that you know where my sanctum is. If I catch you loitering by the statue of Holger again, hoping to run in, into and perhaps liaise. liaise with one of my guests, I'll have you branded as a heretic and cost, cast out into the city. Regards, High Overseer Campbell. So Campbell wasn't even a good boss when he was... Uh, the boss. Uh, We're told. I found one of our brothers. Somebody put a package in one of the post boxes for the others to find. I believe it to be evidence of your sister's involvement in witchcraft you spoke to me about. Attempted to stop him, but he insisted I would burn I would burn for her crimes if I was attempting to cover her deeds. Warn her. See if the two of you can flee the city. Before you, they reach her, your friend and brother, there is nothing else. So I assume Berthold is the dude who helped us out. Dear Harold, generally don't do this, but I came across a letter your parents sent when we were first taken to Whitcliffe. Remember, we have rules in place to spare the decision of trying to make contact with him. We can no longer walk among those we seek to protect. If you at least read this letter to him, though your motives may be just, we know he's probably scared right now and are unable to be there for him. Son, we miss you. We're so sorry we can't come to you right now and take you from wherever they've stolen you away. Be strong, son. We know you'll see your way through. Please remember us and try to find us when you're free. We love you, Mama. Mama and Papa. Aww. Was that your intent? Oop. To spread malady to us? No, friend. I can't. That just. Oh my god! They're shooting the rat! The rat! See, not exactly stealthy, but I'll be honest, it certainly is very effective. Rat, please. There you go, thanks. Uh, Bartholomew, you please uh, promote me to your apprentice formally so I can work with you formally. <laughs> Bartholomew, sick of mocking your floors and dusting your shelves. All this in hopes of receiving the crumbs of knowledge you cast my way. If you hear, I'm going to wait around forever. I was visited by Holger myself in my dreams last night. He told me I was to do great works for the Abbey to cast out darkness where I find it help arm my brother's weapons that reach beyond the physical and into the heart of the outsider. I think I'm ready for the task. This is in regards, uh, oh my god, these are all rough drafts, that's funny. Good boy. Good boy. This is where they see. Um, excerpt from the theater play. 
Wait, is it an actual play? This is gay. This is gay too. Is this Ooh, the- Wait, I want to read it then. Is this that one dude? Is, is this the guy? Is, is the dude who's almost getting caught by his fucking church, like, organization also reading gay fan fiction in his bedroom at night? Because that's great. I love that. Okay, um... You be uh, Lord Nathan, and I'll be Prince Kalasar. Uh, okay. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Lord Nathan Boyle, shaking with outrage. How dare you, sir? Cla- What does that say? Clothes. Clothes. <laughs> Clothes so in my very home. I should hand you over to the watch, depraved Tivian. That's a harsh welcome for royalty, my lord. Your daughter treated me with much more hospitality. Alas, she has gone out for the evening, leaving me all alone. What are you doing, leaving this house? Go back to your frozen wasteland, pale rascal! Prince Kalasar, smiling coyly, reaching out. No need for anger between us, Lord Vale. Is it so wrong for me to be here? As I've proven, I've developed an affinity for you and your family. Oh my, Kalasar, your skin is so warm, it burns. Oh man, <laughs> I want to read more of that. <laughs> Fuck the lusty Argonian maid. That Woo. kicks ass. <laughs> a little, ooh, a little hot in here. <laughs> oh fuck! Sorry. Oh my god! I fell on a wolfhound and killed it. <laughs> I fucking drop broke, attack. I broke its neck. Okay, so I'm looking for that. I'm looking for that thing that I lost. Oh, grenade. Oh my god, that's so unsafe. <laughs> Go ahead and pause this if you want to read it. They, they left a fucking grenade just roll out of the table. Seven strictures are a thing. I think I might have read them in my ASMR series. Let's say restrict the one on flesh. Yeah. The Good. I, I really want the, the second book of um, this, oh, this gay play. Yeah, like... Fuck the lusty Argonian maid. Like, I'm a fan of Krantius Colto. And like, as you know, I'm a huge fucking moron fan. I'll be Lips whore tail. I'm still gonna do a reading of that. I don't remember where I'm gonna take this, so if I see it before I head over to Sammy, then I guess I'll slot it in, but other than that. I'd be up to do a reading of that. Oh, I know you would. <laughs> Can I be, uh... Oh god, what's his name? Crassius, Crassius Curio. Crassius Curio. Oh. Do you get to meet him in Morrowind? You meet the guy who wrote it, yeah. So the hair. author's... Oh, I don't remember which one it is now, actually. It's been too long. But the author is... Pause it if you want to read. Actually, I replacement valve for the... Oh, fuck, here it is. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Another ten minutes of aimless <laughs> wandering <laughs> later talking about the, the Argonian maid. Oh, that, guy, that guy's looking for me. <laughs> Haha, uh -huh, sucker. I want to see a mod of this game where all the noises are just replaced by uh, uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 noises. Oh, okay. Um, so the guy who wrote the Lusty Argonian Maid is a dude named uh, Crassius Curio, but the guy who's in the Lusty Argonian Maid is a dude named Crantius Colto. So it, it's, it's literally his self-insert OC. You know, I don't blame the guy. You know what? Yeah, live your life. Love what you love. Even if they're, uh, lizards. So, um, we're getting to the end here. The end of this mission. And you're gonna be able to see the, like, the gameplay loop. But basically, it's chill out back at base at the, um, at the hound pants. And then get your next assassination mission. Go on the assassination mission, get a bunch of stuff, learn what you want to do with your uh, your Corvo this time around. He just flips a coin and decides if he's going to be evil or good on this mission. Yeah. Go ahead and pause that if you want. Follow the spheres. My biz. Uh, I think that's a rat portal that you can go through. Not a portal, but a little, you know, a little rat thing. I have a rat portal. Twist of fortune. Very rarely a portion will give you full mana. Great. So, um, yeah, the game the game alternates between... Will you die if you jump from there? Oh, yeah. Like, even if it's in the water? 
We should test it at least once, you know? We should. You're right. We should and we will test it. Yeah! Oh no, that's... Oh, that's... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that was not the water. Well, I guess we'll never know. And suddenly Corvo is two feet shorter. <laughs> God, imagine Sam is like, oh, there's Corvo, I'll bring the boat around. And Corvo just... <laughs> Fucking throws himself off the tower. Here, oh, he doesn't now get. We try it. Oh, oh yeah! I'm glad. Very, it's very, very useful. Hey, Corvo. Uh, Samuel. okay, so this might be a bit of a, a weird story. Okay. A little bit personal, too. So I was, uh. I can't remember where I was, but I was jumping off a cliff. Um, into water. Into water. And um, it was about oh, 30 to 40 feet up. So, you know, okay, it's okay, you know, high. And so I'm like, how am I gonna do this? Well, I can't do a dive. I'm not talented enough for that. And I'm like, oh, I know what I'll do. A cannonball. And as soon as I hit the water, water just like went straight up my butthole. And it was, I, I, I legit, I couldn't breathe. I thought I was dead for a second. I thought I was dead. Anyway, that's my story. Thanks for listening. Great. <laughs> hey! From the way I hear it, Campbell lived a pretty posh life. Maybe it's not my place to say, but men of the faith shouldn't live like barons. So yeah, Camp so you Sammy gives go? your like Metal Gear Solid 4-esque mm -hmm. recap of like, hey, this guy was a fucking asshole. Okay, Glad you killed go. him or whatever. Mm. So yeah, there's at least one way to non-lethally take out every target in the game. All right, I found almost all the runes and almost all the bone charms. I killed 54 people. Your chaos is high. It is high. Um, I helped Granny infect the Bottle Street, rescued Griff, branded Campbell, uh, saved Captain Kernow, and saved Elsa. Nice. Uh, continue. I'm gonna get my glasses real quick. You don't have to pause it. I'm right over there. So yeah, um, the nature of this game is that you switch between Hound Pit's Pub and restocking your shit, um, buying more ammo, Getting, uh, getting upgrades, especially. And then with those upgrades, you go to a harder mission. And that just goes back and forth and back and forth for uh, until the rest of the game, which I think is only eight missions. Wonderful. I can see your beautiful face more. Bleh. <laughs> so we've got the high overseer shit so we can figure out where Emily is. We also uh, took out the two of in charge of uh, religious here. fanaticism in the city, I expect I and we're replacing it with someone a little more on our side. Um, I think Jeff Kernow and are taking over. And both of them, one of them, his niece is in the Loyalists, the other one is in the Loyalists himself, so... Mask off! Gunshots, gunshots. He's alive. Thank you, Corvo, thank you. My uncle's a good man, and one day he'll prove it. Here. I know you did this for the right reasons. But I want you to take this as a reward. It's an old heirloom one of my aunts gave me. Her face is what happens when you mess with the, um, the Dark Souls character creator a little too long. <laughs> oh. So yeah, what we can do here is... They're all corrupt. Uh, yeah, head over to Piero. My... Can I be of What's service? What's up, Freakazoid? Give me some upgrades, fool. So, because I found all the shit in the last mission and I did a bunch of side quests, I unlocked more thingies. So now I can buy more stuff. So, yes, I can just stock up if I want to. But I kind of want to get more. Ooh, that's nice. I want to get permanent upgrades. Um, armor, because I am going to get hit. I want to be able to zoom better. That's everything. That's fine. I'll take that. This here is the first step along that path. And we must Attention. find a girl. Emma. Is this like wheelchair accessible ramp? That's kind of nice. Who knows what her mind is oh, being there I like that. Or you know, uh, this society's you not it. so bad Somehow except for, you, you know, the, high overseer the Campbell against terrible the cult people, I, I guess. It's, yeah, it's so weird because the Campbell they still gone, have a monarchy the Lord or an, an empire, rather. And with Martin back, well, like they have it, what looks like to be air conditioning, the Lord Regent must be plumbing, maybe. In Dunwall Tower. Um, yes, plumbing, yeah. women and can Campbell's wear pants, so that's a big plus. Yeah, Our but they get assassinated. Is that in these encoded? Uh, I mean, that's only one woman so far. Of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. 
Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. In the right? Yeah. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal her. To so step I out think as the next hero we are cement his regency. heading to the Golden Castle. If he doesn't bring the young lady rescue... forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against So that coin thing on his chest take a is well how they hold guns, We will decipher the contents of the it's High Overseer's the journal coin. and share them with later. Guess it's better than putting it in your back pocket. Yeah. Sleep sounds good. I could use the rest. You know people have shot their butt cheeks right off. Oh, tons of people. Oof. All right. Um, that's a pretty successful episode, I would say. Finest ladies in all the aisles. Ooh. Skilled in the sensual arts. Aged whiskey of renown. Maybe we'll see that Ooh. next time. But hey, I've been Alfred. I've been Sarah. Uh, this has been Dishonored. Thank you guys for um, hanging out. Uh, see you guys next time. And remember, we are the rats. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Get rat that makes all of the rules. Let's see what kind of trouble we get ourselves into.